hear me out guys and someone behind me like honked at me do you guys think it looks cute i think it looks cute good morning no 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 don't leave don't leave so you guys might be having some flashbacks from the room i'm in right now yes i'm in my old room i am with my i almost said old dog no she's still pretty youthful huh but i <laughs> why are you do why are you looking like that I am at my um, parents house. I have just been staying here for a couple days, you know, so I'm back in my old room It's kind of weird. It's kind of empty right now. Oh, did I say hey, what's up you guys? It's Audrey Hey, what's up you guys? It's Audrey It's 8 45 in the morning I actually woke up a lot earlier and then I started watching like car detailing videos but I just figured I was gonna film a day in the life, mine as well. And we just have a couple boring things we're gonna do today. And what do I do when I have boring things to do? I bring you guys with. <laughs> wow, guess who finally got out of bed? <laughs> who is surprised? Who's surprised? Basically, Arya picked out an outfit. I have <laughs> jeans on. These are just jeans from Pretty Little Thing. Have this shirt on from Pretty Little Thing. This choker is from Target, actually. finished look basically didn't really change much I just did like face makeup we have something else we need to do before we leave let me give you a little mirror it's kind of like a baggy kind of day I'm debating whether I'm gonna wear my Air Forces or I'm gonna wear heels okay I gotta grab my laptop really fast and then we will continue on so I have my laptop and I'm gonna explain what we're doing, what I am working on. It's June, which means we're halfway through 2020 and I don't know how that happened. This year, I swear, is fake. Like, there is a glitch in the simulation. That is how I feel. I don't know if you guys remember, but way back at the beginning of 2020, literally in January of 2020, I filmed my vision board for this year. I've kind of, I've done that for the past two years on my channel. I've made a vision board at the beginning of the year, so... But everything's always changing. What you want from life is always changing, and since we're halfway through the year, I figured right now would be a really good time to go back, review my vision board, see if the goals on there are still the goals I have now. I think I'm just gonna make a whole new vision board. A lot of my goals are still the same, but I do wanna add a couple because they have changed a little bit. So of course, what, what other website would I use other than Pinterest to get these pictures? Basically how I do my vision boards is I will print out a ton of pictures that represent my goals. I'll print out quotes that kind of set the tone for the year or the rest of the year in this case. So that's kind of just what I'm gonna do. And you can put the poster board somewhere that you can see it every day if you want or you can just make it and then hide it away. Those goals will kind of just be in your subconscious mind. And then it's kind of cool at the end of the year to pull it back out and be like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I accomplished all this stuff that I totally forgot I even put down. So I just send the pictures to Walmart and I have Walmart print them out and we're gonna go to Walmart after I send these over and we're also gonna get my car washed. It's gonna be a fun little productive day. <gasps> Listen, I leave my house. I think I look super cute. There goes the lighting. I think I look super cute. I'm like, wow, for once, I don't look like a rat. This is an improvement. All my baby hairs decide to just zoop, just stick straight out the side of my head, which is, you know, fantastic. Anyways, now we're on our way to the car wash 
and Walmart. The car wash is literally right next to Walmart, so it works out. And I'm actually getting my car detailed too, so they're gonna come in and like vacuum and everything because it's been a while since I've had my car actually cleaned on the inside and the outside, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go drive, mind my own business, you know what I mean. Yay! I'm in the Walmart parking lot right now. My car is clean. Everything looks... What the fuck? Who? Love getting added to spam groups on Instagram. Thinking that someone actually wants to talk to me. But it's really just a robot. I'm at the Walmart parking lot and my car is all clean. Very happy about that. It smells like peachy peach in here because that's the air freshener I get. And I wanted to show you guys this because whenever someone gets in my car, they always point it out and they think it's the weirdest thing. And I literally never even noticed until somebody pointed it out. But right here, hanging on like what I control my windshield wipers with. Let me show you. Um, every time I get a car wash, they give me an air freshener. I got this car maybe a year, a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, a little bit longer than that. And so every time I get my car washed, I keep the air freshener and I hang them all right here. So this is the most recent one that I got and I just keep them there. And whenever people get in my car, they're like, oh my God, you have so many air fresheners. And I literally forget that they're there. I don't know, I just put them there. They're like nice little memories of all the times I've gotten my car washed. I haven't gotten a notification yet saying my pictures are done, but a lot of times they are done and the person just hasn't like put it into the computer that they're done yet. So I was gonna go in, and I got out of my car to take a picture of my car because I just got it washed and it's sunny and I like taking pictures of my car because I like it. And then someone behind me like honked at me and I'm pretty sure they're parked and they're just sitting in their car. And I turned to see who honked at me, but it was so sunny that I couldn't see inside the cars. So I literally like turned around and I was like, and then I got back in my car and now I'm a little bit afraid for my life and I'm not gonna go into Walmart yet, so. I love being a girl. Also, sorry I haven't been posting. I know I just updated my po my posting schedule. What the fuck? I uploaded, I, what am I, who is, what is going on? I changed my upload schedule to Sunday, Tuesday, Friday. I don't know if I've even 100% stuck to it yet. I don't even think I've 100% done that yet. And I haven't been posting a lot because there is a lot going on in my life right now behind the scenes that you guys aren't seeing. Depending on everything that happens, I don't know, once everything works itself out, I will probably make like an update video and explain everything. But as of now, I'm just like going with the flow what I like to say, I actually put this in my Instagram bio, is grow with the flow. Because you don't want to just go with the flow, you want to like grow with it and learn. And I need to stop doing that inspirational bullshit I did. And I also just saw people that are probably my age and I don't want them to pull up in front of me. Okay. Okay folks, I am back and so are my baby hairs should we do a walmart haul got the pictures um i got the poster board you can see it back there then i got some unexpected things i got some face wipes those are boring so i'm not going to show you but then i saw this and i was like oh shit it's like self tanner and it's called b tan it says i want the darkest possible which i don't i don't but this was the only one and it was only nine dollars and it says that it is a one hour self tan i was looking to buy the saint tropez two hour express tan or whatever but it's literally like almost forty dollars for one bottle and i didn't want to pay forty dollars for something that probably wouldn't even end up looking good on me so when i saw this thing at walmart for nine dollars i was like shit why not i'll try it also had a mitt and it literally is called i don't want tan on my hands and it's a mitt this was only five dollars you know we might try to self tan in this vlog who knows and you guys will be there to witness my failure if it happens okay now i'll go home we're gonna start making the vision board we're gonna eat it's gonna be a great time i have a nice clean car today is off to a fantastic start i'm having a good day i'm not afraid to say it i'm having a good day i'll be back oh Hi everybody. 
here I have my supplies. We are outside obviously. I'm about to move this pot off frame and I really hope spiders don't crawl out from underneath it. Hopefully there's no spiders on this bench either. Okay, there's a teeny little one. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, there's a zipper on the chair and it moved and it touched me and um, I am Disgusting. So now that my fight or flight response has been triggered, now let's sit down. Oh my god, there's so many cobwebs on this chair. I'm unsettled. I hate this. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a quick couple of taps. Vacate the premises, please. That is my process sitting down on literally any chair that's been outside ever, so judge me if you want. Here are my weapons of choice, double-sided tape, normal tape. I'm in the shade and I'm really cold, but you know what? That's fine. Got some markers and whatever. Also, sorry if it's kind of like noisy or windy out here. I just wanted to be fun. I wanted to have a fun time and film outside. Oh, I keep cringing. I think it's because I'm thinking about spiders and it's making me like, Ugh, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to lay it out because I have already forgotten what pictures I ordered. So holy sh. Okay, bugs are just really out here wanting to be my friend today. And you know what, that's, I better hurry because I can already foresee half these pictures just getting blown into the wind. So I'm gonna put this board together, tape everything down and all that. And then I will come back and explain to you guys like what every picture means and what my goals are for the rest of the year. Because 2020 threw us some curveballs that we weren't expecting. So some goals had to be uh, switched around, but I'm sure we can all relate to that. My camera battery will probably die if I do a time lapse, so I'm not gonna do a time lapse. Uh, I'm just gonna do this instead. So three, two, one. And we're back. What's going on here? So here's the whole board. Here's the whole thing. And up here, I said this earlier in the vlog, I wrote, "Go grow with the flow grow with the flow. Some of the goals that I have on here, like right here in the corner, it says, and they were roommates. My friend Morgan and I, who we've been friends since fifth grade, we've always wanted to move out together, but for a little bit, we kind of started branching out, going our separate ways in life, you know, college, all that kind of stuff just got in the way. But now we are finally having the opportunity to move out together and I'm so excited. So that's kind of what is going on there. Then I have some pictures of just like girls with cute outfits. I always want to improve my style and I want to actually get dressed every single day even if I'm not doing anything stuff like that so that's what those represent then of course we got the fit bodies on here because a goal of mine is always gonna be look the best that I can to just be confident and maybe get some abs maybe who knows who knows what's gonna happen maybe get some abs okay then we have some pictures of California because I really want to move back to California. For those of you that don't know, I actually have lived in California before. I was born in Utah, moved to California, then we moved back to Utah. I really just wanna move back to California, even if it's not permanent, I just wanna go back because I miss it so much. So that's what the kind of California pictures are. This one probably is really standing out and it says Dancing with the Stars. Hear me out, guys. I wanna be on Dancing with the Stars so bad no not as a not as one of the professionals because i am not a professional you know that kind of goes in hand in hand with this little guy right here this is actually a hundred thousand subscriber youtube plaque that i photoshopped my name onto so i can kind of like envision what it will feel like when i get my own hundred thousand subscriber plaque this picture has been on every single one of my vision boards so far for the past two years so i know it's gonna happen soon but that is how I'll get on Dancing with the Stars because once I start hitting bigger milestones with my YouTube channel, maybe they'll want me to add some comedic value to their show because I probably won't be any good. That's one of my big goals for the future. And I honestly really liked how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. Doesn't it look cute? Do you guys think it looks cute? I think it looks cute. It's 4.30. That's crazy. It's already 4.30. All right, now I'm gonna head inside because I am cold and <gasps> you're fucking cute. I was just about to be like, okay, I'm gonna get up and I'll probably be covered in spiders. And then I looked down at the ground and a spider, this giant ass spider literally just used, <gasps> oh my God. 
okay, there, that was just a fruit fly. I'm really on edge now. I'm so on edge. Uh, there was a spider and he used all eight of his little legs to skedaddle his ass under the this chair next to me. All right, I'll put your guys' chair back. Sorry for interrupting. Um, I'm so sorry about that. Enjoy your chair. I will never come back. Hello guys, it's the next day actually. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the tanner. <sighs> oh, my god. oh my god, I ran up the stairs and I got too excited and whoo, it was too much. Okay, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the tanner. I didn't put any tanner on my face. What's on my face right now is just makeup, but I did put it on my arms and legs. Okay, like you might not be able to see it on camera but definitely in person like even my neck is looking like a little bit darker and i honestly really like that it's super natural looking like kind of messed up on my foot though i don't know if you guys can see that can you see that i kind of only did like half my foot it doesn't look like a big difference because i went from extremely pale to just pretty pale so that's why to normal people it doesn't look like a big difference but it's a big difference to me okay i highly recommend that self tanner i think it worked really well and i'm excited to use it again because it did say you can double up on it if you want it to be darker i thought it was going to turn out horrible because it was literally like nine dollars at walmart but i'll link it in the description if any of you guys want to try it out i feel like it especially works well if you're really pale and you're afraid of turning orange but yeah that's my little tanning update now i'm gonna edit this video so i wanted to give you guys this update film this little outro portion so i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me please comment down below if you have any video ideas for me i've been kind of in a slump i just haven't been feeling very motivated comment down below if you have any specific things you want to see from me and i will be sure to do that yeah so that's all for this one feel free to check out some other videos on my channel check out my links in the description i post every sunday tuesday and friday at least i'm really trying to and i haven't filmed a video in so long i forgot my outro that's all for this one i'll see you guys in the next one Bye!